Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to dive into the world of cobots and see how they compare with industrial robots. You might have heard that cobot programming is simpler than industrial robot programming. Well, let's take a closer look and see if it's true or not and analyze the results. So, let's get started. Before we delve into programming, let's understand the differences between these two types of robots. Safety is a crucial factor. Industrial robots require a safety system, while cobots are designed to work alongside humans, equipped with sensors to prevent collisions and ensure safety. When it comes to repeatability, both industrial robots and cobots exhibit very similar repeatability numbers, meaning that both are very precise. However, in terms of accuracy for linear and circular trajectories, industrial robots take the lead with high accuracy, while cobots score slightly lower. Industrial robots are faster, around 2.5 times faster, but cobots intentionally operate at a slower pace to prioritize human safety. Industrial robots have a greater reach, typically spanning 10 to 15 feet while cobots offer a range of up to 6.5 feet. When it comes to load capacity, industrial robots can handle hefty loads, ranging from 10 to 2,000 kilograms. Cobots, on the other hand, are limited to lighter loads, just up to 20 kilograms. Industrial robots tend to be heavy, which allows for additional equipment installation, while cobots are lightweight, compact, and lack the capacity to support heavy add-ons. Industrial robots may feature a hollow robot arm, which is particularly useful for efficient welding and avoiding the problem with cables. Cobots don't have this feature. Also, cobots are often made of aluminum and incorporate plastic parts, requiring protective cases. Traditional industrial robot programming necessitates a programmer and a highly skilled robotic operator. In contrast, cobots offer easier programming, but still require a programmer's expertise. The primary applications for cobots include handling, palletizing, loading and unloading, and inspection. They excel in being light, compact, and safe. However, if speed and accuracy are your priorities, Industrial robots are the way to go, especially for welding tasks. Now let's explore the differences in programming of these two types of robots. When it comes to programming freedom, industrial robots are the most complex. In comparison, cobots offer a simpler approach. And then there's a badgie, which requires no programming at all. Both types of robots have a teach pendant, and the principle of online programming is very similar. It is necessary to program each coordinate of the robot's trajectory. The cobot has a simpler teach pendant with four to six buttons, on-off commands, speed control, etc. An industrial robot's teach pendant has 30 to 60 buttons, and it is necessary to remember dozens or even hundreds of their combinations. The key difference in the case of a cobot, you can pull the torch with your own hands to the desired position and then press OK. The robot will remember the point. An industrial robot will have to be brought to the desired point using the teach pendant and the buttons on it. But in any case, the number of points and the need to program them will be similar. It's just a little more intuitive for a human and it's easier to learn. In both cases, production will also have to be stopped for the duration of programming. If the task changes, then in both cases, it will be necessary to make changes in the program with the teach pendant. They say that you need only five minutes for programming a cobot, and this is valid, but only for simple straight welds. Programming complex geometry or a circular weld will be equally long and difficult on both types of robot. When a cobot is guided manually, the trajectory may not be accurate. The system can correct it. 
but at the same time it does not calculate collisions and does not offer the optimal robot path. A human will have to decide and show the robot what each trajectory should be. The idea of offline programming is to remove the need to program inside the cell, moving the process to a virtual environment instead. The programmer still creates trajectories for robots and writes the code, but all of this happens inside a virtual twin of the cell. Industrial robot offline system and cobot block programming also work on similar principles, but block programming is a bit more intuitive and simpler than programming industrial robots. There are several brands of cobots that are produced with technical vision. For example, Techman Robots Taiwan and Jacka Robots China. It makes it possible to avoid problems with the integration of vision. But the most popular cobot brand, Universal Robots, does not have it. In general, both in the case of cobots and industrial robots, technical vision allows the use of parametric programming. That is, the trajectory can be shifted, but without recalculating the trajectories and taking into account the newly emerging collisions. This means that the ability to adapt to changes in the robot task is extremely limited, which is not the case when you use a badge. Now, let's uncover the Abagi technology that simplifies the programming for both industrial robots and cobots. Abagi eliminates the need for programming altogether. The system automatically generates robot trajectories considering potential collisions. No offline or online programming is required. Simply upload the 3D model of the product and set the required welding parameters. You can switch between products in just minutes. Abaji recalculates robot trajectories in real time, utilizing technical vision and accounting for part position or deviations that occurred during pre-assembly. It automatically suggests the most optimal robot path, considering possible collisions. Moreover, a badger recognizes fixtures or jigs and generates robot trajectories to prevent collisions, eliminating the need for manual programming. Let's compare the programming time for a specific example. We have a part with 18 welds, including circle welds, curved path welds, and welds with complicated reachability. For industrial robots, online programming takes about five hours. Our offline programming takes three hours. An additional online programming requires one hour. Cobots, on the other hand, require approximately four hours for online programming. Our offline programming that takes two hours and an additional hour of online programming is needed. But with the Badgie, programming time is dramatically reduced to just 10 minutes. That is significant time saving. So, to wrap it up, cobots and industrial robots differ fundamentally in terms of safety, mobility, control interface, speed, accuracy, load capacity, and reachability. They both require the programming of each coordinate in the robot's trajectory. Abadji brings together the best of both robot types while eliminating the need for programming. Its automatic robot path generation, adaptability to deviations, and recognition of fixtures make programming a breeze. Thanks for joining us today while we got into the differences between cobot and industrial robot programming. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Subscribe, leave comments, and I'll catch you in the next video.